Hi, my name is Lynn and this is the Darwin Orbit channel. Well, I'm just about to start a pretty big project in collaboration with Rockler. So I'm in my workspace here and this is where I do uh, my editing and most of my computer work. Uh, as you can see, I have a pretty big wall behind me and, and I have a window on each side. So I'm going to make a built-in unit for the space with drawers, a counter and a shelving. I really want to uh, utilize the space really well uh, and just make it more useful and practical. Now, since this is a pretty big project, I'm going to divide the project into five videos. The first one is this one, preparing and planning for such a project. The second one will be uh, about building the base and the structure, the shelving. Uh, third will be making the counter, working with Rafsan lumber. Then we have uh, making the drawers, installing drawer sliders, working with hardware. And then uh, the last one will be about finishing and painting and installation. Now I'm really excited about this and personally I love built-in units. I think they add so much character and they are so practical. And this will actually be the fourth unit that I've built. So let's take a quick look at the previous ones. So here you can see this is my living room and I've got built-in bookcases all the way to the ceiling. These are built as two big units, one on each side with dividers in the middle. They are really strong, they're attached to the wall and you can even climb on them to get books. There are dados holding up each shelf and then molding all around and beadboard as a backing. Then this is an office. As you can see, bookcases again built around two doors with space in the middle for a TV. These were built in several sections with some shelving in between. Like the TV row was installed to connect these two. Um, and this shelf and this shelf connect to these two. And this whole unit was built with pocket screws. Then we have the shop, familiar space. So shelving above with space for tools in the middle and a base cabinet with drawers and a counter. Still have to paint that base white. Here I've got drawer sliders and this whole unit was connected simply with screws. But now back to the project. So this is kind of what I'm envisioning. A full sized unit molding on top and the bottom a counter in the middle, nine drawers underneath, a space above the counter, and four shelves with dividers in the middle. So there will be plenty of space for books and boxes and things to store. In terms of measurements, this unit will measure about eight feet tall, five feet wide, the drawers will be 15 inches deep, and the shelving about nine inches deep. I'm going to be using 3 quarter inch plywood for most of the structure and maple hardwood for the counter, which will require some work because it's rough song. In terms of products I'll need for this project, let's start with the drawer sliders. I'm going to be using 14 inch full extension drawer sliders. And I'm going to use this drawer slide jig to make it a lot easier to align the sides. Then I'm going to need some drawer hardware. I was looking at these but then I decided simple is better, so I decided to go for these poles instead. So I need nine of those. Now for the counter, since I'm going to be using pretty light colored maple, and maple doesn't take stain that well, I'm going to be trying this Georgian cherry gel stain, as well as this antique cherry dye. After I painted the cabinets and shelves white, I'm going to be clear coating everything for extra durability. I've had really good luck with this product in the past. Now I'm actually really excited about this project because I've been wanting to put a built-in in the space for a really long time just because it's so useful. Now I'm going to go over a lot of different concepts in these videos like uh, building cabinets and shelving and drawers and uh, working with rough sawn lumber, finishing techniques and, and just things to think about when you make built-ins in general. Now I realize that some people may find this to be an intimidating project uh, but it really isn't if you break it down in, into several steps, which is why I've decided to do the videos this way. Now I'm going to be using very simple joinery techniques. I'm going to be using dowels and pocket screws and just screwing the wood together. So make sure to subscribe to follow along on this project. Uh, otherwise, I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking and I'll see you soon. Bye.